floss tube friends i am lisa and this is my channel cross by floss where i share the love of cross stitching and life blabbings but for this video this is a special may um mania event video and um so what i'm going to do for stitch mania for the month of may is i am doing mirror mania and so every monday i am going to um, start a brand new Mira and then work on it from Monday through Friday and then um, on Friday evening I will actually post um, or maybe it will go up Saturday morning I will post um, a video of the week and the progress each day of that particular Mira that I'm going to do. These mirrors are all brand new starts. Um, they are either mirrors I've had in my stash for quite some time, or maybe just purchased because they're so pretty. I love a mirror. I've I've been collecting them since okay for a long time. Um, since 2004, I've been I've been slowly collecting mirrors, and um, and so I have a lot in my stash. So the first one that I'm going to do is red. I have had red kitted for, well, since Mr. G and I met five years ago. <laughs> I remember sitting on the bed and winding all of the bobbins because that's what I used to do back in the day. So it, it's all in here. All of her threads are in here. The DMCs are in here. And then um, she's got some Karen water lilies and then all the beads. So, yeah, I've had her kitted up for about five years. And so this is going to be the new start that is going to happen tonight. And um, I decided to do it on this coloring cotton fabric. It is called Colon Colonade. Colonade. And um, I don't remember... I don't remember what month it was or if this is one that I just purchased online, but I'm part of their um, Neutrals Fabric um, Month Club. And um, this is one I had in my stash. And after a lot of deliberation, it's just got a little touch of gray. I don't know if you can see that. It's just got a touch of gray. Um, the called for fabric is actually French lace. Is it French lace? Yes, French lace Ada, 16 count or 32 count um, French lace linen. And I do have a piece of French lace, but it is like seriously an inch and a half too, too short, even if I did a two inch border. So um, that's, that's not ideal. And um, I want to make sure that I have good enough border around her so that she can be framed properly by the time I get her finished maybe in my lifetime. <laughs> but um, so that is, that's it. And then I will be back uh, in the morning to show you tonight's progress. And then, um, like I said, I will probably upload either uh, late Friday evening or early Saturday morning, the vlog Mira Mania um, videos. And then on Sunday will be whatever regular video it will be. So I will see you in a little while. Hello Floss Tube friends and welcome back to day two of Mania, um, Mira Mania. And um, so last night I did start uh, red and oh goodness, she's beautiful. So this is the pattern I am working on, red and by uh, Nora Corbett, Mirabilia and um, so I did not get as much progress done as I had hoped for because I ended up working a little late yesterday. A lot of fires at work. So um, so I did not get as much done yesterday as I had hoped, but I did get a little progress in. So I am actually starting from the bottom. And as if you've been following me for a while, you know that I actually like to start in the upper left corner um, or the right corner, depending on the pattern. But I like to start at the top. But as you can see, you can't really, I mean, you could if you counted over and figured it out. Um, but I, you know, there's lines on this chart that tell you where the center is and then the bottom. And so I just started in the center bottom 
Um, I also could have started in the center of my fabric and worked out, but I decided to start in the bottom. So what I did is I am working on the bottom part of her dress, and this is three shades of red in here so far, and then started on the black. And I am actually using 310. It is what I had kitted in my, my stuff, and I do actually have a lot of 310. I even have a cone of 310 before I, I um, found Anchor Black. So I will use it on some patterns um, and it works great on this fabric. It looks good, um, the coverage is good. And so um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So that is progress of day one on red. And I will see you tomorrow for progress day two. All right, have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Hello floss tube friends. Welcome to Miramania day three. Um, it is May 5th, but um, really day two of stitching. So um, I am going to show you the progress that I did last night for um, Mirabilia's red. That's the pattern. Still working along the bottom here. And that is what I've gotten done. I actually got quite a bit done. Um, I started in some of the gray in her dress and um, working on some darker gray. I got some more black in. I did a little bit more red. And um, I was really surprised by this, but there's some brown in here. So um, I put that in as well. So that's what I got done last night. Um, I am looking forward to working on her again today. It's a beautiful day. I think that this is going to be the hottest day that we have of the week. And um, so I might get outside and do a little yard work. Maybe, maybe not. Still a little sore from the last yard work. But um, I'm a little mo motivated because it looks so pretty. Um, anyways, okay. I will see you tomorrow for day three or ten days stitching. And um, I hope you're all having a good time and enjoying Mania and the videos that are out. And I will see you tomorrow for my update. Bye-bye. Hello, Floss Tube friends, and welcome to day four of Mira Mania, um, but day three of stitching. So what I worked on last night. So today is May 6th. And um, it's the fourth day because I started on Monday, Mira Monday, but Mira Mania. And um, this week, what I'm working on is red. So I'm going to show you last night's progress. And <laughs> so already did some frogging. Okay, so um, what did I do? I, I put in a lot of this dark and the dark here and then some of the white can you see the white in there um started in the white of her dress and then this is some of the outline of her dress and so that's what i got in last night but i noticed this morning when i was looking at it i was super tired last night and in fact i actually fell asleep with the needle in my hand halfway paused <laughs> to a spot last night and woke up with a start. I was watching um, crime TV and I fell asleep and um, while stitching. But uh, so I looked at what I had done last night and realized that I have put the wrong color in, in one of the spots. So this dark gray here actually should be a shade darker than this gray here. Um, it, this is, Four, four, one, four, and it should be four, three, one, three, four, one. It should be three, four, one. This is four, one, four, I believe. And um, I got my symbols mixed up, and so, anyways, that's all gonna have to get ripped out tonight and redone in the proper color. So, <laughs> so, but not not bad. I mean, the bottom of her dress is taking shape, and. Um, yeah, it's it's very surprising to me to uh I put another color of brown in. There's another there's two shades of kind of like um darker than tan, lighter than brown um in here. So 
yeah, it's very pretty, but I didn't really notice it until I really looked at the pattern and was like, oh yeah, no, that, that is in there. But it shades in so beautifully with the reds, I would never have expected it. It's definitely not something I would have put together, but I'm also not a... I can't put things together. I think I've talked about this before. I'm a window shopper. Show me an outfit and uh, I'm going to buy that. <laughs> so anyways, that's what I got done. And um, I will see you tomorrow for 10 night stitching and um, see how much progress I got in after I frog out. It's actually not that many stitches, but still have to do it. So <laughs> all right, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. Hello Floss Tube friends and welcome. Today is Friday, May 7th, and that means that today is the uh, five days of the first Ma Mira Mania um, that vlog style that I am doing for the month of May. And um, as a reminder, I'm working on red. And so um, I will show you last night's progress. It was not a lot. First off, I had to do a little frogging and um, and it took a while, even though I didn't have that many stitches in, they were so entrenched in between other stitches that it was actually really hard to pick out. So um, that took a little while and I got a late start last night because I worked kind of late last night. And, um, but I did get a little progress. So uh, what did I get done? Okay, so I added the black over here in this red, I added um, these, the darker gray in here, and I added, I added to this as well. So, um, I'm pretty sure that that's what I got done, but I mean, okay, yes, it's four days and yes, that's not a lot of stitching, but really I'm working maybe, maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours a night. Um, if that, so, um, for me, actually, that's not horrible. So, um, so that is what I got done on red last night. And um, so today, I am actually going to do a little stitching this afternoon, what I normally would have stitched tonight. And then I'm going to get this all edited and then upload. So it will be uh, tonight. I should have it up Friday evening. So that's that's my hope. And um, as well as fingers crossed everything goes well today and there's no fires at work and the little is not um, in need of some massive help. <laughs> so that's all I have. I hope you have a great day and I will see you later for um, the finish of this week. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Hello Floss Tube friends. It is Friday evening, May 7th, and um, I am going to show what I worked on for a little bit of this afternoon and a little bit this evening. So I kind of feel like what I've done um, in throughout the day today is pretty much what I would have done tonight for stitching. And then this will conclude the first five days of Mira Mania. Um, that I am doing and so I am working on red and I'm, I started down in the bottom center of her dress and I'm just kind of working my way up along the dress and so this is what I got done in five days of stitching again I know it's not very much but I do only you know stitch typically between an hour and a half to maybe two hours a day. I might get a little bit more in, um, just depending on the day and, and how much time I have after work and all the things. And so, yeah, but that's what I've gotten. So today I primarily worked in here and it's fairly easy because there's a lot of blocks of color and, um, and so the counting's fairly easy. So again, this is done on a 16 count coloring cotton called colonnade um or colonnade not sure um but it is beautiful it's a beautiful fabric and um while i am sad to put her away 
so that on Monday, the 9th, 10th, right? Yeah, 10th, um, I get to start a new, a new Mirabilia. So now I have a lot of Mirabilias. It could be any one of these in this stack. Sorry for the crumpling. I have a couple in some bags that I've got, but some of them are already kitted. But I, and this is just a small, I didn't even pull all my mirrors out. Um, I might need to go and have a look. But um, I, I have a lot of great contenders um, for next week's Mirabilia. So you'll just have to find out what it is that I pick. Um, the vlog thing was actually kind of fun. I um, was a little nervous at first, you know, trying to find some time every night or every morning to, um, well, every night to stitch, but then every morning to find a little bit of time to show the progress from the previous evening. Um, but it worked out really good. So I think I can, I can manage to do that again next week or for the whole month, month of May. So that was fun. Well, thank you so much for joining me for the first week of Mania, my Mira Mania. And uh, I hope you're enjoying all of the Mania videos that are out and the progress and the daily updates and all of the, all the goodies from some of the floss tubers in our community who are participating in Mania. And um, yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I will be back actually on Sunday to do my regular type video and then we'll get back on track. Um, last weekend was supposed to be a stitch with me, but uh, my my plans changed, which I will actually talk about in my Sunday video. Um, but yeah, so if you join me for that, then um, I will see you then. And if not, then happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, whether it's a two-legged human or a four-legged fur baby um, or any pet that you choose to uh, have as part of your family and and uh, be a mom to. So I hope you have a really great one. Have a great weekend and I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye. Mm,